Hey, Shazam15 here. This was the first of the two reviews this week. Because, well, I didn't post one last week, so we get a double bill. Which is actually what I did. Anyway, first one is Mr. Popper's Penguins. Now, there's quite a few things that are okay about this film. There's quite a few things that are interesting about this film. So let's go into it, shall we? Right, overall premise, interesting. They don't really give you much of a hint in the trailer as to what the actual setup is. That one's kind of interesting, to say the least. We get a glimpse of a man's childhood and how that ultimately leads him to make a moral morass of his life, especially as far as his family is concerned. That's cool. Right. <laughs> It then progresses to Dad doing something nice for him. We don't ever find out. We don't find out the motivations until later. That's kind of cool because it does sort of run through the film that he doesn't find out why this is happening to him. There's ideas of translation issues. That's nice. There's ideas of what it means to be a family. It's very much a family film focused on what it means to be part of a family. Now, I would say that Jim Carrey isn't Jim Carrey until the very end. That's new. He plays very much straight most of the way through, no matter how silly the situation gets. But he does turn back into himself as we know him towards the end of the film. That's good. What else is there? Well, you've got the character of Pippi. Now, Pippi pretty much steals the show. She's perfectly pleasant and her problem is totally problematic. But it entertains you immensely, although I do find that the boy she falls in love with towards the end, eh, I think there's only limited potential there for jokes. Right. Now, what else is there? Penguins are cute. That's what you're after. Although, as... Futurama points out, something that cute must be up to something. Anyway, there is an aging actress who played Jessica Fletcher in it. She's seen better days, but she plays the role well, and it works. What else is there to say? That's about it. The only other funny thing is, it's well worth waiting till you see the... Um, Animal Cruelty label. It's worth watching. I won't spoil it for you, but it's good. Anyway, uh, that's about it for this film. It's a short one. It's a short film, so it makes sense it's got a short review. Anyway, have fun.